busy making myself a solar water heater. Got myself a couple of aluminium sheets and I'm pop riveting this uh, welded mesh onto with these little clips that I made. Then I'm going to use this hose, yeah, that I got, I got myself a roll of hose. Use this to put it on, roll it up on there. Then I'll put the polycarb over the top, just to close off, clear polycarb. Stop the heat going through, getting out. Paint it all black inside. I'll show you what it looks like after, it's, after I've done it all. Okay, I've spat it black. Waiting for the paint to dry, and I'll start putting on the road on the hose. Wind, wind the hose around here, yeah, start in the middle. It'll be nice because it'll come out here and go straight into the gutter, which is going to go all the way around it. That's the stuff yeah. Oh, where's it gone? There we are. These pieces yeah, are going to go all the way around it. So, next step is put the hose on. Yeah, I'm busy putting the hose onto the sheets. Busy uncoiling it there. I bought this cable tie cutter at a second hand shop in Cape Town. I didn't know what it was for. I thought it was a wire stripper. And it works like a charm. You stretch the cable on with that and you cut it off with that. Got a blade inside there that cuts the cable. Cool. There we are. All done. All enclosed. And polycarb. This is the inlet, the bottom. As the heat rises, comes out the top in the outlet. All made from scrap corrugated aluminium. Should work. Yeah, I've got the Cellar water heated fitted, there it is outside there, catching the full sun. There's the inlet at the top and the outlet at the bottom. Hopefully it'll warm the water up. The motors are growing nicely but they're getting very long without having any fruit. I don't know what that problem is. Right. 